Hey, what's up, everybody? Fake here. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome to, I believe, episode yeah, episode ten of our Minecraft series. So, ooh, I like this song. Do 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 do. All right. Um. Huh. In the last episode, we actually did a, quite a few different things. We found a village, we found like mangrove trees, found a warm ocean for when we want to try to get sniffer eggs or whatever, if that even works. I found some buried treasure as well. Yeah, I found some of that. Got some extra emeralds, a heart of the sea. What else did I get? Did I even get? I got some fish. Got a block of TNT. Yeah, I got this stuff as well. I got the paper from another thing. Got two water breathing potions, which is cool. I'm happy I got that. You know what I mean? Boing. trying to think of what to do. I would love to... You know what? Hold on. Mm, actually, am I going to need my boat? Okay. So basically, right? When I went and found the village... I basically, I got back to the base after finding the buried treasure map, and I was like, okay, let's follow this map after I get back from, get back from the buried, like the, uh, the underwater, the submerged ship I found. Uh, I was like, okay, let's just follow this map to get to my, get to the treasure. And then on the way to finding the treasure, I find a village. Probably about like 50 to 100 blocks away. At, like, I don't want to say at most, because it could be more, it could be less. But I want to say around 50 to 100 blocks away from, the, from where the treasure actually was. There was the, uh, the good old... Uh, the good old village. Speaking of which, let's try to find it now. That's what I'm going for right now. I should have stayed at the base until it turned to night time. That way I had a full in-game day to look for this. Whatever. I did mark down the coordinates in a notepad in case I need to pull up the coordinates. So I could just keep that in mind while I continue to look for this village. It is a savannah village, which is kind of annoying. Because that means that I'm probably not going to be able to have, like, carrots and all that yet. Uh, best chance I have of finding those things, like... Okay, there's the village I was talking about. But the best chance I have of finding, like, carrots and potatoes and beetroot... Is, like, finding a village outside of the savannah. Like, finding a plains village or something like that. And then, like, taking their crop. Because... I've been to plenty of savannah villages. None of them have, like, carrots and all that. Savannahs are the only ones that don't have them. Well, I could be wrong about that, actually. I know that, uh... These guys can have melons in their farms. I actually collected plenty of them when I came here last time. Alright. I have arrived at the village, though. I would love to find, like, a way to create some kind of like easy waterway 
between this village and my base. Hold on, let me try something real quick. Swimmy swim swim. You're not catching me, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Okay, so if I go around here. Okay, then I got connections to this part of the water. I do want to create a waterway, but if I have to dig, then I'll hold off. On it. I'll just go through this water here. There is a good chance that there's going to be a massive chunk of water I just can't access. Unless there's a way I can access the ocean from this little river bit and just find a way to go around to hit my place. You know what I mean? Unless that can happen, I don't see a river connecting to my base somehow. Well, I say base. It's more of like a... It's more of a camp right now. It's just a bunch of chests and shit laid out somewhere next to a... Uh, yeah. Next to a thingy. What I would like to do, though, is maybe going back to the ocean and going, like, exploring in the ocean and shit. And then, like, maybe seeing if I can find a village, like, on some kind of island or some shit on the other side of the ocean. I think that would be really useful, just because I don't see myself... Like, if I have to dig... I'm gonna continue following this river. And if I do have to dig out a massive-ass chunk of land just to make a good enough waterway to connect this thing to my base, then it's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna be real, it's probably not gonna happen. What the hell was that sound? It had to have came from the game. Though. Okay, so that's where it stops over here, but what happens if I go that way? Is that a lava? Th Is that a lava pool? have to be careful out here. It's not on peaceful. You can get attacked by anything, anywhere, at any moment. Not literally anything. These fish aren't going to attack me, but if a drowned zombie pops up, it's going to attack me. Speaking of zombies, there's two of them up there at least. T2 creepers up there too. way if I keep following this river and it gets me lost I'm gonna be so sad oh hey it's a trident wielder let's see what happens I wish I had a shield wow that did two hearts of damage and I'm in iron armor holy shit this is risky as hell I could try to eat something okay I don't want to change the difficulty because I do want to kill this guy. But if he kills me, then I'm not going to be happy with myself. Fuck it. Whatever. I, I should have brought my boat with me. Would have gotten me at least a little bit of extra protection. That way I could have at least survived one or two extra hits from that drowned. Actually, this bit right here might actually get me the connection I need. I might want to continue going this way from the forest, though. Keep going through the forest, and maybe I'll find, like, a tiger or something on the other side. Okay. I'm going to keep going through this river, though, and I'm going to see if there's, like, a way that this connects to, like, the ocean next to my base or something. Well, my camp, still. Because if it does, then this is actually not a bad spot at all.
Wait. I think we just reached the ocean. Huh. Is that a stone beach? Hold on. Let me get on this land real quick. Land. Okay. I can see the ocean right there. So if I can run on land and still see like a full connection to the ocean here, once I reach my camp, then... Yeah, I think it'll be settled at that point. Okay, I see my fountain. I see the rest of my stuff. And yes, so even though it is going to be quite a long road, there is a riverway between my little camp over here and the village. Which means at any point, once I'm ready for them, I can set up a way to get... I can have villagers. Even though it's going to take a while, it they will be fairly easy to transport over here. The only thing is I'm going to need two pistons and a little bit of a red, redstone uh, thingy set up around here before I... Uh, yeah, before I do any of that sort of ting. Little tingy. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so now that I've done that, I need to change the difficulty back to normal. And let me grab my boat. I don't want to transfer villages over here yet, but I do know that I can bring them over here thanks to that thing. So, well, which way is this facing? Okay, that's good. Okay. So, even though I don't want to go transport villagers right now, I do want to go a different direction that this river, that this little, like, riverway thing is connected to. So, I just got to keep going this way. And if you see that forest right there, you'll remember that there was, like, a little intersection in the riverway. One of, like, from the direction I was coming from, I was coming from the direction of the village. So there was two, there was kind of like an intersection coming from that direction. One of them was leading here. The other one was leading more into the, uh, the forest. Which means that if I were to follow that forest, who knows, to be honest, what I could have found, actually. Okay, I think it was through here, and like somewhere around here it was. Yeah, I think it was right here. Pretty sure right here about was the intersection. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the way we're facing right now, to my right, that was where I came from from the village, and to the left is what I wanted to go to. But decided to just find my way home first. Which we successfully accomplished that. The only thing I gotta keep an eye out for though is making sure I don't get hit by a drown. What the hell? Okay, this game's going to take a minute to load certain chunks. This usually does happen when I record a Minecraft video and go boating on the ocean. These might be new chunks, too. I said might. Keyword is might here. But it could be possibly the new chunks. <gasps> There's a cherry blossom forest up there. Fuck yeah. Okay, which means at the very least we found another new type of tree in this area. Which means that could we possibly find more. Okay, so let's just... Uh... 
Okay, let's get back into first person because third person's been kind of annoying. Let me just fix my seating position on my Betty Woody Schmetty. Okay, grab the boat. Don't want to leave it behind. Okay. Okay. There is a room with another portal. Nice. Now, it would be better in my situation to find a ruined nether portal if I brought my diamond pickaxe with me. That way I can pick up some regular and crying obsidian right now however I don't have that so yeah I'm just gonna have to deal with it I'm just gonna grab what's in the chest didn't bring an iron pickaxe either so I couldn't even grab the gold blocks that are over here I'm just gonna grab what's in the chest and leave this alone Oh, obsidian. Love to see that. It's a free achievement right there. Uh, do I want the rest of this? An unbreaking three golden pick isn't bad. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I will say, I do have to piss. So. Oh, I thought I froze midair. Okay, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Let me just do one thing real quick. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go use the restroom and I will be right back. returned from my bathroom break let's see seems like I've I only took what two minutes maybe three at most ah, all right glad to be back though okay so I want to grab I don't really need to grab any wood I just want a sapling but since there's so many here is that an azalea tree I think that's just a regular oak tree. Yeah, that's just a random ass oak tree in the middle of a in the middle of a cherry blossom tree, uh, cherry blossom biome. Guess I'll look around while I'm over here. And if there happens to be a plains village while I'm over here, I will go crazy, and I will be so damn happy because. The ocean will also have a connection to this area, which means I can just boat my way over here. Not to mention, this one is closer, and it would be a plains biome. It would be a plains biome that I find them, because 
I could be wrong, but I don't think they have cherry blossom villages. At least not yet. I do think it would be cool if they did have those. But cherry blossom, cherry blossom stuff was just added. No, just to be safe, I'm gonna put the game on peaceful so I don't have to deal with whatever the hell skeleton is at over here. I'm not trying to deal with that whole skeleton stuff, so at least not right now. Holy fuck! Okay, what the hell? Oh, that's why. Okay, let me crouch to make sure I don't fall off this. There you go. What the hell? You're kidding, right? That's tough. Alright, so I'm good with that whole thing. And we got ourselves a cherry sapling. That's the main reason why I come over here, and now I got it. I could stay here until more of them drop, but I'm fine with just one. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. Good old sneezy time. No, one of my normal, not easy. I don't mind easy. But if this series is going to be entertaining, then... Oh, hell yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's not immediate ocean access. But I could just throw a villager in a boat, roll down the mountain, and then go through the ocean. So it's not a complete bad thing. It is a mountain village, but the good thing is I don't have to deal with any mountains other than the one it's on. Thank God, my I have a good enough flat area around my air, around my uh, camp to not have to worry about mountain type areas. All we gotta worry about is getting these. One, if we, if I were to take these villagers, all I'd have to do for them is just hell. I might just take these guys actually. take these villages just because I don't know about like if they're closer or not I know for sure though that I'd probably prefer plains villages over savannah villages oh I was so confused for a second. I saw that like little pointy mount, little hill thing right there, and got weirded out. That was some kind of like weird structure, like a tree or something. And if my roommate doesn't hurry up with what he's doing in that backyard, on that back porch, you know, the one that's right in front of me, basically, since I have a back door. And everything. Like, if he doesn't get the hell out of here, then I'm gonna be upset. Okay. There's a chest. Okay, 12 apples and 3 gold nuggets. I will take it. Cartography table. Which means it's a cartographer here. I think I saw two brewing stands at the previous place, so I'll take them. I'll take the paper. I'll leave the maps, though. These guys can keep the maps. Oh, fuck. Is it about to be nighttime? I could sleep in the bed, but I'm probably just going to change the difficulty. Don't tell me. Okay, please, 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 please. Do they have any farms? Oh, wow. They got three fucking houses basically dangling above uh, above that cool little ravini mini okay let's crouch
Okay, the cops are not gonna place down. That's probably why. Fucking. Get on the cobblestone. Place the dirt down. Bam. Hey, you good, man? I'm not taking your. Whatever that is. Canada cartography place. More paper. I'll take the compass. Again, leave the maps. Could create a locator map with that. Um. Anything like village related down there? Yeah, I didn't think so. It does suck that there's no, uh. that there's no farms around here. That skeleton just shot a creeper in my face. Yeah, nah, I was not about to deal with that. Good thing I'm on survival and not hardcore. I'd be dead by now otherwise. 100%. I probably would have died like five times already if it wasn't the case. Okay, I'll take that. Potatoes. Uh, don't think I'll need the saplings or the poppy, but I will take the rest of that. Pretty sure I've already looted this one. It is kind of annoying that I don't see a farm around here. However, we did find some potatoes in one of the chests, which means we're not missing out on... At least, we're not missing out on potatoes. So that's a plus. Beetroot's not much of a big deal because outside of like villager trades, there's not much that I'm missing out on for that. With potatoes, it's good because I have, now I can farm pigs and if I, once I start, I can actually make villager trade emerald money off of that shit but yeah and I can even make food out of the potatoes because baked potatoes are not a bad source of food at all like I'm being serious when I say that too like it is a decent uh, food source straight up okay so does the game run faster it like when I'm boating does it help to stay in first person or is it the, like, which one is the game less laggy in? When I'm in first person or third person while boating? I guess I'll find out. It doesn't look like there's too much of a difference, though. Looks like it's just gonna be hella laggy to the point where it's a slideshow every time I do this. You see how fucking, like, drifty the boats are when I turn, though? It's like, it's like a little... It's like a bitch when I turn it. It's like... I'll slightly press it, and then I'll just turn to the complete opposite direction I was facing. Okay, you bastard. There. Fuck right off. Okay. Oh yeah, my boat, my axe broke. God damn it. Okay. God, I love the slideshow of gaming I'm getting right now. Oh, well that's just fantastic. Huh. Now I could continue in the, sn in the snowy area. Again, I could. But I don't want to. However... I see a spruce tree. I see multiple spruce trees, actually. So, if... If I have to deal with a little bit of the snowy stuff to be able to get some spruce, I'm fine with it. Because I love spruce wood. Hell, maybe I'll find a snowy village while I'm over here. Those tend to be the worst ones. Well... They tend to be the worst locations, not the worst villages. I'd say Savannah Village is a pretty boring. 
At least the villages are. I wouldn't say the villagers. Like, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, I lost my, well, my, I broke my axe. Holy shit, that's a, that's a pillager outpost. And I just realized I didn't mark the coordinates down for the uh, village I found. Huh. I guess now's a good time to pull up the notepad. First, I want to... Hi. You know something I can possibly get inside of the chest in a pillager outpost? I can get uh, potentially carrots. Which means the only uh, farming thing that I could get from uh, Hold on a second. I want to try. Okay, now I got sticks. And two more pieces of cobblestone. Wait, 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 wait. And then, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Just like that, new axe. I'll leave the crafting table there. That way there's evidence I was here. I'll go ahead and take the spruce wood as well. <sighs> I love building with spruce wood. So having some to start out with. Would be nice. I would like to get four saplings. So then I can make one of those quad trees. It looks like I got those just by chopping down one tree. So that's a good thing. Now the only uh, wood type that I still am going to have to find is dark oak. And I'm going to have to find four of those saplings to be able to just grow one tree. Which is annoying. However, it is nice that I got all the other types now. Because I already had oak, birch, acacia, and jungle when I started. Like after like the first episode or two. Like I was able to get all those wood types and I was able to get a mangrove propagool thing and find a mangrove swamp in the previous episode so now we got spruce wood acquired we even found ourselves a pillager outpost which I am actually going to do some of this okay let me uh let me pull up the notepad real quick so I can mark down these coordinates that way they don't get lost or some shit while I wait for my files thing to open up, I might as well check my phone real quick. Okay, hold on. Actually, bam. Okay. My files just opened up. There we go. Let me close this. There we go. Okay. So, now I'm going to put pillager outpost a snowy biome in parentheses coordinates okay so the x coordinate is 1257 the y coordinate is uh, 73 and the z coordinate is negative 8 cool need to do a little bit of an edit okay village Savannah. There. Cool. Because now I got a second village. So I'm going to need to uh, go back to. In fact, once I finish looting this place, I might just go ahead and head back to the base, or at least start heading towards that direction. Find the, the other village again. Okay, found more potatoes. Found carrots, which is nice. Okay, a single bottle of enchanting, that's fine. I didn't get a crossbow, but I got got a goat horn. And I got some dark oak logs. I'll take it. I did get some carrots, though, which is nice. Will I survive a fall from here? I think so. Yep. 
Yeah, it's a good thing I was on peaceful mode when I did that. Otherwise, I would probably have died. I don't know. There, it's a pillager outpost. So there was probably a good chance I was going to be surrounded by pillagers if I wasn't on peaceful. Pretty sure this is the direction I came from. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Something else I need to make sure to mark the coordinates of is, uh... Once I get back to my base, I need to actually mark the coordinates to the base. I'll probably just go to the fountain and mark the coordinates of that. Just because that kind of area is where I want to, uh... Do all that type of stuff, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to climb a mountain to get back to the village, so... Yeah, I'm gonna check how long I've been recording for real quick. That's the wrong thing. Okay, 36 minutes, which means I got around 10 minutes left worth of time I want to record for. Uh, I'll probably just keep recording until I get back to the base. So if I hit the 45 minute mark of recording and I'm still not at the base yet, I'll just keep going until I make it. And then I want to put all my stuff in the appropriate chest. And then I'm going to probably just end the video there. However, if I make it back and do all of that stuff before the 45 minute mark, I'll probably just find something to do, like look around or something. Well, the good thing about having videos, like episodes like this in the series, is that I, I get some decent ideas for uh, what I could title the video, you know what I mean? Like, video titles are kind of annoying with me sometimes, especially Slime Rancher episodes. It's not really, like, the ti the titling of the video itself. It's more of, like, titling videos that I don't do anything in. So, like, the past few Slime Rancher episodes, like, I want to say the past 10 to 20, have been kind of difficult to try to find a nick to try to find a title for. Just because, like, I haven't really done anything noticeable enough in those videos to actually have a clever name for them. So I've just been kind of like repeating the same ideas for the title constantly. Which is why because recently, I want to say for the past like month or two Slime Ranch has just kind of been the series I would go to if I wanted to get a quick video done. Like since I started the Slime Rancher episode, and since I... Because I started the Slime Rancher episode and the promise to release one video every day this whole year. I started those things at the exact same time. So I've been doing this... Uh, I've been doing this Let's Play for a... Well, that, that Let's Play for a minute. Like, yeah, I've been doing it all year. I've done a lot in the process of that, too. So, like, yeah. The fun thing is, is that since they've now made a sequel on Slime Rancher with Slime Rancher 2, I'm pretty sure they're done updating Slime Rancher. Which means that whatever I fin- Like, once I finish everything that's currently in the game, I shouldn't have anything left to do. Sharpness 5 and Fortune 1. Ooh. I was hoping for obsidian, but I could take all this gold stuff back to the base. Get wait until I get a disenchanter and then just disenchant everything. Let me get back into like a safer part of the village real quick. Like probably over here where like the iron golem is and all this. Like the main part, because I don't want to mark the coordinates of those three houses separate from all these. I'm gonna get in the middle of these. Yeah, close to these hay bales. Right here. Yeah. Okay. And this village is right next to the, uh... It is right next to the uh, 
What's that? What's that? Uh, what's that biome called? The cherry blossom. It's next to the cherry blossom uh, forest, which is nice to see. Okay, so the x coordinate is six seven two. The y coordinate is ninety seven, and the z coordinate is one forty seven. Okay. Now then. Cool. I think from here I can just hop in the hop in a boat and head back to the base. Thing is, which direction did I take? I wanna say this one. I don't think I went through this way. I think I just went over that and then saw that there was that whole thing. And then just went through. I am glad I got a Plains Village now, though. And I got access to that Snowy Tundra area. So if I really wanted to, I can keep going through that Snowy Tundra. And try to find a village over there as well. If I really wanted to. I probably wouldn't ever want to but you know it could be like an idea of mine to have like if I like like if I've ever finally wanted to go get myself the beetroot that I've been looking for then pretty sure have I already checked that pretty sure I have I'm pretty sure I did I'm gonna leave it alone because I'm pretty sure I already checked that one I wonder. I do see a little bit of snow on top of that mountain where the cherry blossom trees are. So it does make me wonder if there were some spruce trees nearby. And if I had just like wasted some time going over to the snowy tundra area. Well it's not like I wasted all of my time. I found a pillager outpost in the process. And in the future if I ever wanted to explore that pillager outpost well explore that snowy tundra I could try to find myself a snowy tundra village and maybe once I do I could try to find like some kind of way to start collecting one of every type of villager I saw Luke the Notable did it and I was like damn that would be a really cool idea actually so I was like yeah I would love to do that in the future. For now, though, I'm just going to chill on that. We have two different... We have access to two different types of villages now, though. We have the Savannah Villagers, which we found in the last episode. And the Plains Villagers, which we just found in this episode, which is nice. We found a Pillager Outpost in the Snowy Tundra, which is probably like a few hundred blocks away from the Plains Village. But the question is, which village is closer and or easier to access for my base? The Plains Village or the Savannah? The Savannah Village is going to have to go through a lot of like weird-ass obstacles. Whereas the Plains Village, I just have to slide off a mountain and then go through like a few weird spots. Alright, this is where I'm parking the boat. There we go. I'm going to leave it there for now as well. Okay. Let's see. Throw the paper in with those pieces. Uh, building blocks. I'm not even going to worry about organizing them for now. Okay, I'm throwing the obsidian in there with it. Um, okay. Farming stuff. Carrots. Okay, I'm going to throw a cherry sapling. Oh, hold on. I'm going to throw them down here. Again, I'm not focused on organizing. I'm just throwing everything in. Okay. Oh yeah, throw the string in there since I also have mob drops in here. Okay, I need to smelt my iron. 
which I'll go ahead and do. Just split the iron in half and throw them in like so. We'll throw the book into here. Arrows. I should have a separate arrow. There we go. Okay, throw this armor in here with these. Along with the, uh, the goat horn. And the compass. Oh yeah, the sticks as well. Bam. Uh, sleepy sleepy time. Thank you. Okay. So that should be everything thrown in the chests and everything, safe and sound. Okay, there we go. Daytime. Normal difficulty. Let me check how long I've been recording. That is not the recording. Okay, we did just hit 45 minutes, so that is a good thing. Actually, I think we just hit 40. We're about to hit 46 minutes, actually. I think, so. What time is it? Okay, so it's just shy of being 8 o'clock in real life right now. Yeah, I think I'm happy with the position I'm in, so I think... I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here, guys. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, you can go to the about section of the channel. Or to the description.